Hey Cancer, it's Nicola. So let's see what messages we have. This is for the week of February the 16th through the 22nd. What guidance do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Jeez. All right. So we got two. The first one we have is Dark Angel. Let's read what we have for that. The dark angel comes to you with a radical truth. Divine love is always there for you, without exception. Love will never forget you. It will never stop caring for you, even when it seems most unlikely. In fact, especially then. The divine is reaching for you and nurturing you. Even our wounds are ways that we can discover love and divine grace through the healing process. The divine is always helping you remember who you are and find your true joy. When the dark angel appears, you are being given a gift of light, even when, even if it may seem to be a hidden blessing. So some of you guys could be receiving some hidden blessings. It may not seem like a blessing, but it is. So we have Merkaba, spiritual protection. Being open to receive is a way to gain empowerment, strength, and all manner of assistance. To enhance receptivity, it can be helpful, it can be helpful to declutter and cleanse your energy field. This allows for that which is not rightfully yours to be shed. Sometimes this will include the disowned thoughts and feelings of others. When you release these thoughts and feelings, a spaciousness will grow within you. Then you can then you can then receive more of what is rightfully meant to be for you, your divine good and always. So I'm taking this as something may change in your life that you may see as a burden, but in actuality it is a hidden blessing. So let's see what messages we have. What messages, what guidance do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Give me one second, y'all. Let's see what messages. I was talking to my kid. So let's see what messages we have. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for February the 16th to February the 22nd, 2020. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for February the 16th, February the 17th, February the 18th. February the 19th, February the 20th, February the 21st, and February the 22nd of 2020. What messages or guidance do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Two of Pentacles here. So there could be a lot of things going on. Two of Pentacles usually represents the need to make some decisions within a foundation in order to balance things out. Six of Swords under decision may be to move forward. So let's see here. Four of Pentacles here. For some of you guys, you're holding on to an imbalanced situation. The way to balance it out is to make a decision to stand firm within your own foundation. You could be in a space of holding on to something. Um, six Pentacles here. This is Ten Pentacles. So some of you guys are holding on to a commitment, but you really need to be in the space of bringing balance to yourself. And I feel like working on your own independence. Full energy here. You may have an opportunity to, to kind of take a leap of faith towards something new. This is for... Tuesday, Wednesday, we have the Emperor here. It could be dealing with an Aries energy, or this is a masculine energy of kind of taking control. We also have Aquarius here. All right, so Thursday, we have <laughs> we have the Queen of Wands. So I feel like you need to take control and really decide to move in a new direction within your life. That is the energy of the Queen of Wands. Um, now, usually when I see people in a reading... I see this as an energy that you may be portraying. So with that being said, I feel like you need to stop underestimating yourself and really be in the position to take control of your life. Even the Queen of Wands, even though she's of feminine energy, she takes on a masculine kind of aspect in really asserting herself and really being motivated in what she deems to be passion to create something new for her. All right. Friday, we have the Nine of Swords. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're having anxiety around a situation. Now, you could be dealing with someone that has set boundaries around a situation, and you could feel imbalanced about that. But I feel like you need to face your own inner demons, your own thoughts, in order for you to really move forward and put an end to the difficulties that you are going through right now. Saturday, you have the Six of Wands. So this does talk about moving through, moving toward victory. I feel like once you face your own anxieties, then you'll be able to see that moving forward and creating a new path for yourself is victorious. I feel like for some of you guys, you feel like you're starting over, but in actuality, you're not. You're just moving toward a higher ascension within your life. So we have four pentacles here. Why do we have the Four of Pentacles? Why would we have the Four of Pentacles here? Why the Four of Pentacles here? We have Nine Pentacles. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, Eight Cups, I feel like you need to be confident about walking away from a situation. Really be persistent in cutting away a situation that does not 
benefit you. Um, this is about finding your strength to really overcome the strife within yourself. Now, you could have some conflicts with someone and you're really needing to kind of walk away from the conflict. Give me one second. All right. So like I was saying, there really is a need to persist in overcoming a situation, maybe being discerning about what is within your best interest and again, what is not. So let's see what we have for Monday. We have the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for Monday? We have the Hangman with the Death card. So some of you guys need to change your perspective around a situation. I feel like there's a transformation that's happening that is going to create a, and I said change of perspective, and the Star card talks about seeing things from the bigger picture really in a space of having wish fulfillment moon card here i feel like you have fear about a transformation that is happening instead of fearing the transformation allow the transformation that way you can really be in the space of moving out of suspension and transforming your life moving toward more balance moving toward investing into yourself full energy here for tuesday why is this full energy here so we have the ten of cups here with the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could very much be in the space of, I feel like you're worried here about investing. I feel like there's a lack family situation here that you've been investing in. And I feel like you have an opportunity to move toward balance or toward something new. But this really is about... It looks like about cooperating with the universe. You're being presented with a new opportunity. Five minus eight is three pinnacles. I feel like you have to be a team player and really move again toward emotional fulfillment. Like I'm telling you, seven of pinnacles, you may have been in a situation that has been having no success. So in order to create, ooh, excuse me, in order to create success in your life, you do have to cooperate and move, um, take this opportunity. The... I lost my breath there for a minute. The Emperor here. Why is the Emperor here for Wednesday? Why is the Emperor here for Wednesday? Why is the Emperor here for Wednesday? We have the Six of Wands. So I do feel like this is about taking control, moving forward. Four of Cups, Nine of Wands. Really being in the space of... I feel like you're overcoming a situation. I feel like Six of Wands, you're moving toward victory. Four of Cups, I do feel like there is some discontentment. You may feel as though you're missing an opportunity, but be persistent in taking control of your life. I do feel like for a lot of you guys, there's clearly some wealth moving forward for you in regards to your abundance. But in order to do that, you have to be in the... Now, some of you guys could be moving toward an Aries here. If so, I feel like you're moving... I don't know if this is an Aries or this is you. But I feel like with the energy of the emperor, that is about creating structure within your life, taking control and creating structure. Six of Wands by moving toward victory. Because Four of Cups, you could be closing yourself off and really being persistent here um, and really trying to keep control either of yourself of a or of a situation. But the Queen of Wands does represent the need to move in a new direction. Also, Leo energy. Why is the Queen of Wands here? We have the Empress here. So you may need to move in a new direction in order to have abundance blossom in your life. Um, with the Ten of Swords here, this is embracing the end of difficulties, the end of instability, the end of lies, deception. King of Pentacles could be dealing with, Empress and King of Pentacles is a Taurus, um, but you could also be, now for some of you guys, there could be, that's three swords, there could be a betrayal here. There could be a betrayal here. For some of you guys, it could be, another woman um but for others of you i feel like this is your energy of really being in a space of again moving in a new direction embracing the end of difficulties allowing something to end so that you can escape an unstable situation i feel like you need to be more confident that's exactly what i'm seeing with this nine of wands here i mean this nine of swords here this talks about cruelty of the mind this talks about anxiety Ooh, we can't use that that's way too many so with this Four of Pentacles, I feel like you're holding on to something out of anxiety. Six of Cups, something of the past you're holding on to out of anxiety. Knight of Swords, but you're needing to really gain control of yourself. For a lot of you guys, you need to balance the polarities within yourself. I'm seeing the Empress and the Emperor. Um, not in the actual reading, but in the energies, in the, in the energies that are clarifying the reading so this does mean that you need to balance the polarities within yourself you need to take control find the firm foundation within inside of yourself and really allow yourself to move forward away from past situations a lot of you guys have anxieties um, about relieving yourself of something in the past face your anxiety so that you can move forward six of wands does represent victory moving forward 
Why is the Six of Wands here? We have the Emperor here. So I feel like you are, now a lot of you guys, this may have to do with your pride. You could be back and forth with the situation based off your pride. But Emperor, Knight of Cups, with Temperance, some of you guys are dealing with an Aries or a Sagittarius. You're dealing with some regret, but victory is moving forward here. And I feel like there could be an offer coming in. Now, some of you guys can make an offer to control a situation, divine timing at play. I feel like this is about moving forward. Taking control, balancing your emotions, and balancing your mind in regards to a situation. I feel like for some of you guys, there's some regret over some sort of heartache. But sun card six, I don't know if someone, it's clear that someone else is moving forward, or it's clear that you need to move forward. Regardless, there's a movement forward that is necessary. And I feel like in order to bring balance, you need to make you need to make a balanced decision based off your own foundation, like based off what you desire. And I mean truly desire, not just because you're afraid, okay? So let's see what messages we have. What messages, what guidance? This is about nurturing yourself. What messages or guidance do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? So we have generosity and forgiveness here. We also have rebirth. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, that you're really in a space of really seeing someone's potential i feel like you need to see your own potential i feel like with oshun this is about paying attention to what you feel with inside of yourself there may be a, a need to forgive someone you may be in the need or maybe needing to even forgive yourself this is about making choices to move forward spiritual choices to move forward and allow something to blossom for you give me one more for cancer give me one more compassion this is about having compassion through whatever transformation that is occurring. I definitely see something changing, but I feel like it's a good change. The two of pentacles represent a situation that is balancing out, okay? So it's like balancing the good and bad of whatever situation you're dealing with. This is all I have. Until next time, peace, y'all.